everyone, Rod Cullerton. Uh, I'm doing this announcement today, as you can see, from my cabin in the Gap Bus, um, which uh, will be my home for some time to come uh, as we start to uh, venture out into the political uh, arena and uh, promote Gap for the restoration of the Commonwealth. I wanted to take the time just with a quick announcement to uh, let all our members and supporters uh, know that we have a good candidate that is prepared to uh, stand at uh, state politics um, for Western Australia uh, in the up and coming election, which I think uh, kicks off in March next year. And Nick Robinson is the prime candidate who has been with the political party or the GAP party since its registration federally and is prepared to go in and uh, uphold the ethos of the party uh, in the state of Western Australia. And we encourage all our members uh, and certainly other members to come in and be a member of GAP. Uh, off memory, I think it's 500 uh, is the amount of members. We've got plenty of federal members. We need to get those members to register up for state and uh, so that we can uh, get on and push our main focus and uh, uh, restoring the rights of the people. I also uh, announced a memorandum of understanding which was undertaken by the original sovereigns um, and that's uh, the OSTF, Original Sovereign Tribal Federation and also other tribes have reached out, uh, especially up in Thursday Island, uh, also coming forward and considering uh, entering into a memorandum of understanding so that our rights are protected under our law, which is LAW, and equally their rights are respected under their law, which is LORE, and that we walk together and deal with the administration that uh, is not currently operating pursuant to the laws of the Commonwealth. Um, that document uh, has been executed and other documents will also be executed. But one of the documents um, of real importance is the uh, understanding of how uh, two peoples in effect have come to together and walk alongside one another, one another and respect each other's rights. And we uh, drafted a letter to go off to Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, uh, and it was titled A Commonwealth and uh, Tribal Mateship. Ma mateship. And uh, as you can see, that was uh, executed uh, by myself and David Cole from uh, OSTF, Original Sovereign Tribal Federation. And now that uh, that document has gone off to Boris Johnson, uh, which uh, supports my previous prayer uh, for the restoration of the Commonwealth, which was sent off uh, ironically on the 7th of November 2018. Uh, that was the day the referral of the High Court in well, whilst in Parliament as a Senator. And certainly, um, certainly uh, the matter of CO 588 2020, which is unprecedented, that's the Culleton matter, to where the original Sovereign Tribal Federation have come in as an intervener and obviously the farmers uh, with the Royal Commission on how the banks dealt with our uh, fantastic primary producers, I can vouch for that, um, I was one of them, uh, how we had issues over the properties on uh, the alleged non-monetary defaults, uh, valuing our farms way under what they're worth uh, post the GFC. So. Uh, we say uh, we were all uh, unfairly dealt with through the state courts and uh, we just want to bring it back uh, law and order and have it dealt with on a level playing field. So um, yeah, this is the first interview I've done on all the cameras. Uh, we've got many other cameras and... and um, screens, monitors, uh, that we can pretty much uh, live stream reality politics on the road. And um, so here we go. I'm going to read this letter out because it is a very important letter. Uh, and I think a lot of Australians will agree um, with it. 
This letter is a letter that is titled A Commonwealth and Tribal Mateship and I'd be honoured to read it to you. Dear Prime Minister, greetings and may you receive this letter of solidarity intended to begin a review of the current administration of government in Australia and undertake a remedy too long, outstanding and unattended. Comes a time when it is opportune to seize the moment in the reasoned alignment of two peoples and are coming together to forge a friendship and treaty for the betterment and future of all. In this year of 2020, the history of two people comes into focus with the benefit of hindsight and blunders of the past and tragedies that followed impacting on the lives of the original tribes and dignity on the Commonwealth and Crown in respect to the law and the law. That Her Majesty has made an undertaking at coronation to rule and serve the people of Australia. 20 years on her title had been substituted without regard of the law for the Commonwealth. That Her Majesty's Government must take a rest of the events in which the Queen has been denied her rightful title within and over the Commonwealth in contravention of the law and in offence to the Treason Felony Act of 1848, honour shall be restored. The original Sovereign Tribal Federation, OSTF, in representation of the majority of the original tribal people of Australia, stands in protest to the manner of past governments and current administration and calls for a new path for harmony between two societies. OSTF stands with the Great Australian Party, GAP, on the principle of respect of the rule of law and respect of rights in living freely. It is now envisaged that a dialogue, dialogue may be entered and path be visioned to bring the two people closer in respect of each other and their rights under law. No longer would there be disparity and injustice to prevent the development of two societies walking alongside each other in the gainful lives and enterprise that must be made in the promotion of the values of each society. GAP, in canvassing for the representation of Australians and in seeking to restore the authority of the Australian people, shares the vision of the common good by respect of right for all, in this manner, the respect to law, as to respect to one another, is the highest ideal that may be promoted in joining all people to their dignity and esteem. GAP takes the view that matters advanced in the High Court of Justice this year in the matter of CO 588 2020 for review of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of West Australia is of urgent attention for the administration of the Commonwealth of Australia, for which current administration and several parts masquerades under the constitution of the Commonwealth. That the need for this recognition be made and attended by the Crown, in premeditated and forewarned and previous year by the prayer restoration of the Commonwealth of Senator Cullerton to the Lords, now in the custody of Her Majesty and her Government. It is imperative that relief be granted, lest the Commonwealth and Queen be subject to the peril of usurpation and disgrace. Without further delay, GAP in sponsorship of the OSTF makes petition of Her Majesty's Government for recognition of its duties by right constitutionally entrenched that second clause and constitution of the Commonwealth and remedy the same. OSTF takes the view that past governments and current administration of the Commonwealth and its several parts are without respect to its laws and without licence to the same. The Australian Government is not taken to be the Commonwealth Government and the Parliament of Australia is not taken to be the Parliament of the Commonwealth. Dialogue may not be entered with any government acting under pretense of the law and the review by Her Majesty's Government in the United Kingdom must be undertaken for necessary dialogue to begin. The OSTF as representative of the tribal nation
reaches out to the Crown in the administration of the Commonwealth to begin a restoration of its proper undertaking and responsibilities there too, so that the journey may begin. It is most proper condition of the two societies that peace and good government benefit the people. You are requested to consider the petition for the restoration of the Commonwealth and undertake the review and the law and evidence before the High Court of Justice as above referenced and take remedial steps in, restore, in re restoring the Commonwealth of Australia to its proper dignity and course in accordance of the law. If it can be demonstrated that the facts and the laws are not as above stated, you are afforded the ample time of 28 days to make the case as being otherwise, for thereafter it be, shall be taken as true and outstanding in that the Queen has been denied her rightful title. There it is there, executed uh, by the OSTF and by GAP, by myself, and certainly other tribal uh, followers will be also joining our uh, good fight uh, for the restoration of the Commonwealth. So I'll um, sign off from here. Thank you very much and keep update and please, please, if you want good representation at state level in West Australia uh, or any state and certainly federal, we urge your support to come on as a member and uh, do so um, and uh, we can certainly uh, get the ball rolling there and be registered at a state level. Thank you very much and good night.